here's the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. First turn it on, just press and hold that power button until it boots up. Once it boots up, you should be here at the welcome screen. From here, go ahead and choose your language. Just tap on that right there. I'm good with English right there, so I will just go with start. For your review, um, you have to, these first two, you have to um, tap on it in order to proceed. So make sure you agree with it. Tap over there, go ahead and read through it for those two. This one down here, I agree to sending diagnostic data to Samsung. That one is optional. That's up to you. Okay, for me, I'm fine with all of them toggled or turned on, and I'll tap on agree. Easy setup with another device. You can sign in automatically and copy settings, accounts, and more from another phone or tablet. So if you have another uh, Android phone or Galaxy phone or an iPhone or iPad, you can copy and settings account directly over. Okay. However, for myself, I want a new clean install here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tap on setup manually for myself. Choose a Wi-Fi network. You can skip that or you can do it now. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. I'm gonna find my Wi-Fi. Right there, I'm going to type in my Wi-Fi password. After you put in the password, tap on connect. Set so connected right there. Connect to a mobile network. Choose an option or insert a SIM card to get connected, okay? So if you have a physical SIM card, if right now you can go ahead, you can put it in if you want, or you can transfer SIM from another phone, or you can scan a QR code, or you can search for other mobile options, okay? Now, I have a physical SIM card uh, for this phone, but what I'm going to do is after the setup is done, then I'll put it in, okay? And that'll be in another video. So for me, I'm just going to go with setup and later in settings. I'm not sure why, but now it says copy apps and data. I want I chose to do later in settings, but anyway, it's here now. So I'm just going to put on uh, no copy. Don't copy anything. And this is where you put in your uh, GMO address to sign in. For myself, I'm going to skip it because I don't know that password right now. So I will skip and just do that at another time. Protect your phone, basically basically a password. You can do a face ID, fingerprint ID, some kind of pattern, pin, or you can do multiple of these, okay? so But for this video, I'm just going to do the pin, and another time I'll do the face and the fingerprint. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a pin here, and I'm going to tap on continue, and I'm going to reconfirm one more time. And I'll tap on OK. Google services, use location, read through that, allow scan scanning, send usage and diagnostic data. These are all actually optional. So, I mean, this is all up to you. So read through that and you guys do what you want to do. But for me, I'm fine with all of them toggled on and I will tap on accept. Samsung account, this is where you sign into your Samsung account. I don't know my password, I can't remember it right now, so I'm just going to tap forgot password or don't have an account just so I can skip that and do it later. And I'll tap set up later in settings right there. And I get why do you need a Samsung account because of all, all these things, especially find your device if they're lost, okay? So read through that. But again, I'm going to go ahead and sign in later on, so I'll skip for now. Samsung service legal information, the terms and conditions, read through that because you have to select that in order to proceed. And you have these other two or three down here that are all optional. So go ahead and read through those. And I'm fine with just with that top one selected. And I'll tap on agree. Go slide all the way down and that turns to agree right there. Samsung services. These are all optional as well. You can go ahead and read through that. I'll, for myself, I just keep the auto blocker. And I'll tap on agree. Check your region. Mine here says Utah. I'm not in Utah. I'm in another state. I'm in California, so I just tap on other state, and I'll tap on next. Choose your display mode. Do you want this light mode, or do you want this dark mode? Most of you guys will go with the dark. I like the dark myself. Setup is all. You're all set up, and then you can uh, tap on see what's new on this phone, or you can just go directly home here, and voila. We are now in business. Now, if you want to see how to insert a physical SIM card, I'm going to put that in the video next. So look in the description below for that video.